Alrighty guys, so we're at that stage that we need to figure out a way to get a cam signal, okay? So <clears throat> I got the idea from um, Alberto, Big Boost they call him. Um, he, he has this little uh, fitting that you drill into the side of the head and you can weld this fitting in there to mount your cam sensor. Well, I went ahead and already drilled the hole. It's a one inch hole that goes right here. So what we need to do is make something that's going to that's gonna, um, hold that sensor there, okay? With the proper air gap and all that. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and design something in my CAD software. And I'm going to show you guys how I use this little uh, CNC here. This little CNC, it's kind of like a hobbyist CNC. Um, it's stuff I make like little prototypes with and all that. Uh, so, but I'm going to make, I'm going to go ahead and make one out of aluminum with that. And, um, yeah, it should be pretty easy. Uh, once I get it made, um, I'll just make it to the same diameter that I drilled the hole, which is exactly one inch. Okay. Um, I just basically used, uh, one of these step drills until I, until I got it to one inch. And then we'll, uh, <clears throat> Once I get it machined, we'll, it'll fit right in there, and then we'll weld it from the inside. And that should be it. So I know I could buy one. Um, he sells them for like 65 bucks, but I can make it just as easy. It's not a big deal. Uh, so let me do that, and uh, once I get it designed, I'll show you guys how I set it up and um, machine it. Here's what we come up with. Um, so pretty much I had to do a little bit of like after machining um, after we did the pretty much did the whole top half here. And then I, what I did was I flipped it over and I was able to stick it in the lathe and kind of finish it off and add this uh, little recessed area here for the, uh, the little O-ring. So yeah, we should be good to go. And I kind of made it to where it's a press fit too. So... I just um, turned it down on the lathe until I got it to where it was like a little bit of a press. So this way, I, I'm not, I don't have to hold on to it while I'm welding it. Um, I can just kind of tap it in until I get the right um, air gap. And then, um, yeah, pretty much just weld it up. So that yeah, looks really good. Tapped it for um, a couple bolts. Um, just standard thread. I didn't use the uh, metric. I don't have a metric tap, so I just use some uh, standard uh, uh, standard threaded bolts. So, but yeah. So I do realize that you guys aren't gonna probably have you know the tools to do that. But um, if you go to um, the guy's name's Alberto. He has a I think it's BigBooShop.com, and uh, he sells he sells those. They're like 65 bucks, and then all you gotta do is drill a hole in your head. And um, <clears throat> obviously get somebody to weld it, or if you have a welder, weld it up. So yeah, so let me go ahead and get the air gap set and then um, get this thing welded up.
All right, so welding this was not easy. Um, this, the head is really, like, I don't know if there's a lot of, like, dirt in the metal or what, but, um, yeah, and plus, it's, it's so thick. I mean, there's so much mass here that you're having to weld to, and it's just not easy. So, I have a little bit of porosity here. I'm still working on a little bit, but up here, like, you can see up in here, it was much easier where, where the uh, metal was thinner, but... Yeah, my machine, uh, it's a good machine, but I mean, everything fits really good. And hopefully our air gap is, is good too. But um, like my machine, it's a good machine, but right now I don't have it hooked to 220. I have it hooked to, I have an adapter that runs uh, to 110. So I can't, you know, I can't get as much out of this machine as as it could do. So it kept popping breakers and everything. and. Just trying to get it hot enough to get a, a puddle going was very difficult on this head. So I did end up having to, I grabbed a torch. Um, I grabbed one of my torches here and just heated it up. Like tried to get it as hot as I could, turn the flame off and then go to, go to welding. And um, that seemed to help, but it was still really tough. So, but I got it and um, it should be good to go. We should have a, we should have a cam signal. So hopefully the air gap is good and I don't have to shim it or anything like that. But if I do, it's not a big deal. Um, it's set right now at 20 thousandths, which is like a half a millimeter. Uh, from the research I did, uh, there's a couple of the guys that have done something similar to this and that's what they set theirs at. So we'll see. But anyway, I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video and learned something, how to convert a GE head to having a cam signal. But anyway, that's gonna do it guys. Check you all later.